So I haven't done international dishes in a long time and then all of a sudden, boom, boom, these two Italian dishes hit me. I didn't know which one to do, so I decided to do both of them. You saw the soup, which is absolutely amazing, and now we're doing something called polenta. That's right, it's really easy, a few ingredients, and we're going to be using some chicken with it because I wanted to plate it just right. Uh, there's two ways you can cook polenta. You can cook it as kind of like a mashed potato, or you can kind of bake it and make it like a fluffy cake. So uh, let's get started. Come on in and I'll show you how this is gonna be done. Not a lot of ingredients, so I'm gonna start by cooking my chicken. I'm going to put some Italian herbs. I'm gonna do a little rosemary, a little thyme, a little oregano, maybe some basil. And then I'm going to bake that, maybe some salt and pepper. And then I'm going to prepare the polenta and I'm gonna put the polenta under the chicken. That's the goal, let's see how it goes. We have butter, we have got yellow cornmeal, chicken broth, Parmesan cheese, couple cloves of garlic, some finely diced red onions, which I pre-diced yesterday, a little salt, a little pepper, and that's it. And this pot is what I'm gonna use uh, today. It's one of the Rachel Ray cookware that I've been using all year long. So far, so good. At the end of the year, I'll tell you all about the Rachel Ray cookware and how it held up. We'll look at it together. But this one right here, I have never used. Look, it's brand new. I just washed it out. So we get to use that today. All right, let's get this chicken in the oven because that's got to be fully cooked before I make the polenta. We're going to do some rosemary, a little salt, black pepper, a little oregano, a little basil. And you're asking why am I putting all the greens on? It's because since Italian polenta, Italian seasonings. That's kind of the gist. And a little time. I always have time for time. <laughs> All right, let's get this in the oven and then we'll get started on the polenta. So the only thing I didn't do was prepare the garlic. So we're gonna get a few of those going. Gonna uh, finally dice up the garlic. If you've ever seen polenta, it looks very creamy and fine, so you don't see ingredients in it. So the better you can chop up your garlic, just take your time. There we go. Beautiful. Push that off to the side. Clean that up later. And then just, uh, just give it a chop. That's all I do. Okay, let's start with a little bit of olive oil in the pan. I'm using a medium high heat. Recipes down below. Take all my onions, pour them in. Come on. Come on, boys and girls. Get in there. We're gonna saute these till translucent. Remember that term we talked about? Just a few minutes. Now I just wanna remind you as I'm preparing this, make sure you're using an oven safe pot, okay? If you don't know what an oven safe pot is, it's a pot that can go in the oven up to 450 degrees. Look up your pan. If your pan does not handle 450 degrees, then don't put it in the oven. Then you're gonna place your garlic in there. Make sure you get it all out. Don't ever wanna skimp on garlic. I love garlic. There you go. And then go ahead and saute that garlic in there. My wife is upstairs, I can already smell this. It smells amazing. Okay, it's time to add the chicken broth. Turn your flame back on high. You wanna bring this to a boil. Okay, now that it's at a boil, here comes the tricky part. I'm gonna lower it back down to medium, keep the boil going. You're gonna sit here and stir, and you're gonna slowly incorporate the cornmeal. Little at a time. There we go. Now let's turn your flame off. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that gorgeous? Okay. Here's what you're gonna do. Cover it. Place in the oven, 35 to 40 minutes. 
You're gonna mix every 10 minutes. Put this in the oven at 350. Mix every 10 minutes to prevent it from clumping. Okay, let's get this in the oven right now. Put it right here. Look at this, ready? Puya. Look at that steam. Give this a good mix. Beautiful. All right, so now is the time to, whoops, handle's hot. Don't touch the handle. Remember, as you're stirring this, you're gonna to wanna to use your pot holder, okay? Put in your butter. Black pepper, however much you want. Salt. And get it all incorporated. Always use your mitt. You're gonna have a tendency to wanna to grab the handle with your hand. Do not take your hand out of the mitt, this whole process, okay? Okay, here we go. Put the cheese in. Incorporate that now. All right, we're gonna put this off to the side. best I can to serve a big glop of this right in the middle. Get your herb chicken. Just place that right smack dab in the center. And there you go. This is Italian herb chicken over polenta. Buttery, cheesy, garlicky, oniony polenta. Okay, so my honey's home today, so she's gonna try this for lunch. But for right now, let's, uh, let me just try the polenta by itself first. Cause that's mainly what we taught. It's like a, wow, it's totally solidifying. Look, wow. It's like a really thick pudding. Oh my goodness. First thing that happens, a little bit of the cornmeal comes through and then a little sweetness, a little salty, the garlic and then the cheese. That has a, that doesn't even look as good as it tastes. That looks good, it tastes amazing. All right, so let's try it now with a piece of chicken. All right, here we go. Chicken with plant on top and it's burning hot. Mm-hmm. Very hot. Mm. Oh my goodness. I gotta go. And you can't see me woof this down. That was easy. Kitchen's not even a mess. I'm ready to chow down with my wife. It's gonna be awesome. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. More international dishes coming. Be ready. Bye bye.